Hey everyone, it's Pirate back at you here in the record room. Uh, it is time for the next part of the Six Records, Six Thoughts. I meant to do this a couple of weeks ago, but as everybody knows, life throws you curveballs. So let's get uh, right into it. Um, for those of you who are new, if you do not know the premise of this, I have friends go in and they choose six records out of the six cubicles of my record collection to the right of me. And I apologize if I'm not tuning to that because I have a whole bunch of records out that it's a mess in here because I'm filming a bunch of videos. But uh, they choose six records in any random order they want. And I first come on and show the six records in one video. And then I give myself a little bit of time, usually two weeks. This time it's quite a bit of time in between. But I do uh, go in and I listen to every album at least one time. If I'm familiar with it, you know, I'm probably going to be like, yay. Uh, the idea behind this is to make sure I get to know every single one of the records in my collection. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. But I am going to leave a link for the first video in the description below just so you can get caught up. But I'm going to talk about every record um, in full. Uh, usually with the first video, I give first impressions, whether or not I've heard it or not, all of that. But just because it's been a while, I'll just do a mini recap. The first album is Tina Turner's Break Every Rule. The only album right now that I have the shrink still on for whatever reason, but I got this at a thrift store for about a dollar. I was like, okay, Tina Turner, you know, here's the back. It had the, the inner sleeve, you know, everything was good about it, you know good quality and I just let it sit for a while so this was the first record um, my best friend actually chose these six records so uh, you know I only knew Tina Turner because of a joke from an old online video so I wanted to just uh, you know take a look and there were a couple of things that kind of surprised me and initially it was when I was looking at the inner sleeve so I was looking you know I was like, okay, you know, seeing, I always like to look at writer credits when I'm, you know, listening to something new. And, I, you know, I was laying there, you know, this, I have my little bed here. This place is a work in progress. This is a small room. This is also a guest room. But um, one thing that kind of threw me off was there was one here. I saw, okay, David Bowie wrote a song on this album called Girls. I'm like, I'm a little intrigued. And then back where you started on side two it was written by Brian Adams. And then I swear there's one more. Cause every, aha. Okay. So on the first album, uh, first album, first song, typical male, we have Phil Collins on the drums. And I was like, okay. So I thought this was going to be, you know, just like 80s cheese, but holy crap. This album was an absolute pleasant surprise. I'm going to be revisiting this album. This album's a 9 out of 10 for me. So um, just to recap also, I do give ratings uh, based on um, what I've been listening to, first impressions, all that. This was a great great 80s album i this what, what year did this come out 86 uh let me look yeah 86 this album is awesome i would almost call this it probably did well i don't know you know the um off the top of my head right now i mean i could research it and put it up on the screen but probably don't have time for that because i'm trying to film a bunch of videos because um if you remember i tried to go see my uncle in houston and unfortunately, we had a tropical storm come through and that never happened. So I'm actually trying again. So I'm trying to film a bunch of videos. So you're going to see, when you see this, I'm probably, if you're not seeing this video before I'm gone, you're probably seeing this video when I'm gone, depending on when I decide to release videos. Because I got one more coming out. Uh, showing off what I got recently. So if you're seeing this out of order. It's whenever I decide to put this up, but um, Yeah, so that's why I was gone. But like I was saying this this album um, Depending I really liked it and if it's not 
getting the recognition it deserved in the 80s. This is a hidden gem of the 1980s era. This really is good. I'm I'm pleasantly shocked. So, you know, you know, first impressions and everything, yeah, it's like I didn't, you know, expect too too much from it, but I got more than I bargained for in the best way possible. And I actually recommend this album. It's really good. Um, some of the uh, highlights are girls, typical male. I like Back Where You Started, Break Every Rule, and Paradise is Here. This album is really good. Definitely, if you can, pick this one up. And what I mean by pick that up is actually, if you're into 80s music at all, definitely pick it up. And also, I've been uh, adding little sticky notes to every single record I've been listening to, and if it happens to fall off, you know, it's it's in the sleeve, but just to let me know what I've been listening to and not, I've been listening, what I've been listening to and what I haven't been listening to or haven't gotten a chance to yet since I've done this, just so I know where I'm at, but we are moving still right along, and this is one that I've talked about probably a lot since I've gotten it, but the next one was Police Synchronicity, I mean, it's the Police and Synchronicity. This is an album I wanted for a very long time, and I was so glad to grab it. It also, uh, when I bought it, had all the original um, innards to it, including the paper sleeve. And I just uh, put it in a MoFi sleeve. But this is the one that is actually, like, it's dark purple. It actually looks black, but when you put it up in the light, it's dark purple. I mean, wh what can I say about this that I've not already said? I mean, this album I listen to constantly, so... Uh, what I mean by that is I listened to this at work because I had a cassette player at my desk and it was just this little crappy cassette player, but I played this to death on that cassette player and I just been looking for the longest time to get this and I was up with my friend up in um, Yorktown, Virginia and we had uh, just picked this up. Well, I picked it up. We went to um, a shop that was maybe like five, ten minutes from his house and my god, I'm just... I was happy to see this. I had a couple things in my hand. Saw this at the check. I was like, I flipped out because I've been looking for this for such a long time. I'm so glad to have it. And I know there are other variants of the uh, the, the 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 front, but this is a 10 out of 10 album for me because I love every single song on this album. You cannot go wrong. You know, um, I mean, there's a lot of songs already. Um, radio played on this and there are a lot of people that probably talk about this but every breath you take and king of pain are like the big hit synchronicity too i love that album i love wrapped around your finger t and sahara miss gradenko this album is beginning to end perfect for me so we started off with a 9 out of 10 and we went with a 10 out of 10 so we are rolling right along with this so far this has actually been really good and um, just thinking overall, this, you know, the, the first one I did was kind of, um, you know, an expansion of essentially my music taste from kind of like the breadth that my music taste is diverse. So when I did the first one, it kind of represented my music taste, but this one also represents my music taste too. So we are going to continue to move along. The next one that was chosen, let me put this down here, was Collective Souls Hints, Allegations, and Things Left Unsaid. I've shown this off on my channel before. Um, the big hits are Shine, obviously, and I believe Heaven's already here. Let me check on that because I do still have the hype sticker somewhere. I'll pull out the hype sticker. Let me see here. Breath. Uh, breathe or breath? Uh, no, it's breathe. Um, breathe is the big hit off of this. And this is on uh, really cool red wax. But um, what can I say that's not already been said about this album on my channel? Um, it's 90s rock. Um, can't go wrong with that. And for me, you know, it is the... Um, it is... And I gave this a 9 out of 10. Um... Really, it is, you know, 90s rock in its essence, in my opinion. And, you know, the band has gone on to say this is not their best work, but I still enjoyed it. So, uh, that one is 9 out of 10. We are going to keep things rolling. The next one is 
one that I was like, okay, I bought this just because of the name on it. It was like, I had their Christmas album, thanks to my buddy, Ben. Uh, shout out to him for getting that for Christmas for me. I still can't believe he got those for me. That is just, oh, that was, you know, he got me the Christmas gift of um, Swoon by Silver Sun Pickups. And then he also added those in there. So I have my nice play copies, thanks to him. But uh, this is Close to You by The Carpenters. And um, to be honest, I enjoyed this. You know, it's not something that I'll pull out every day. It's not going to be one that I listen to every day, but damn if this wasn't good. You know, it, it just shows how much, you know, how well, it's got a little damage on the back there, but I don't care as long as it plays fine. Um, it shows the, you know, the, the complexity. It's not complex music, but it, it just really shows um, how good their music was. I gave this an 8 out of 10. Uh, but it is definitely, it's not what I recommend, unlike, you know, The Police and maybe even The Collective Soul. If you could find it, this was a record store day press. But this actually, not a pleasant surprise. I knew kind of what I was getting into when I listened to it, but it exceeded my expectations. And, and that and exceeded in a lot of ways. So, again, not one I would listen to all the time, but very happy with. Ha, ah, yes, this next one is one of my Conversation Beast records. So the next one is Greenpeace Breakthrough. Now, if you want to pause and look at this, great. But this is my only Russian pressing. As you can see, the text on everything is upside down much, is Russian. So essentially what this is, and I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia page, is essentially uh, back in the Soviet Russian days, Western music was essentially outlawed, I believe. So this was basically the chance for um, citizens of the USSR to hear Western music. And essentially what this also was, was a conservation piece. So all the, basically all the royalties or the profit from the artists would have gone to the organization that was, um, you know, there. It's a flimsy pressing, but there are some really, really good um, songs on there. Um, they don't list it on the back, it's on the inside, but there's like U2, there's a whole bunch of different artists. I gave this a 9 out of 10, just because of conversation piece and everything. But um, there are some songs I did not have until I grabbed this. So just on, you know, conversation alone, uh, this was just randomly in um, Martin at Vinyl Days. Uh, Vinyl Days Records is my favorite record store here in Virginia Beach. Um, but... It was in his, you know, it said live. It was weird. Went up to the listening station to listen to it. He said, you'd really like, you'd probably enjoy this. And I, I did. Because this was really kind of a um, 1988. So, on the back, it's 1988. So, it really is kind of a, a, ca a time capsule of music at the time. And it's really awesome. Um, I don't know how rare it is. Um, judging by the price, it's not that rare. But I don't know how it got to Virginia being from the USSR. Um, you know, nowadays you can find anything online. So if you can, at least pick up the CD version of this. Um, even if it's just for the compilation alone, it's definitely worth it. And the last one. Fortunately, we are going to be ending on a, not a sour note, but an eh note. The last one is uh, Ian Matthews, Stealing Home. I'll show the back here. Yeah, it, didn't, it came with that picture sleeve. Just if you wanted to take a look at him. This, uh, unfortunately, was the worst of the bunch. I gave it a 4 out of 10. It reminds me of... Uh, uh, I called it Knock Off Barry Manilow. I'm not knocking Barry Manilow, because I do like a couple of his songs. But it's just not my cup of tea. I mean, I have it. I'll probably listen to it every once in a while. But... Not my cup of tea in the slightest. It's um, singer-songwriter in the most 
boring way, at least for me, possible. There are some artists that do it great, and it's okay if you like that style of music. It's just not for me. But overall, the six records are really awesome, and um, I'm very glad to have listened to them. So I definitely will be doing more installments of that, but that wraps it up for this portion. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I will definitely have more Six Records, Six Thoughts as time goes along. But until then, uh, I am uh, glad you stuck around with me. You know, it's been crazy. I'm trying to get to a better filming schedule, but life just decided to throw out the biggest curveball. And well, what can I say? Life is crazy. But we are continuing to roll. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel a bit. I'm close to 160 subscribers, which is insanity to me. So thank you if you are watching this and if you are new to my channel and if you haven't yet, you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I will be putting out more content like this. Um, I have been enjoying watching others' videos, um, especially if you just been, you found me a random and comment and, you know, I at least go on your channel and watch some of your videos. Uh, it's been great getting to know a whole bunch of you in the, the vinyl community here. And it, it really means a lot that you're taking time to sit down and watch these videos. As goofy as I, ch I try to be, you know, conscious and stuff of time and everything. Because everybody's got precious time. But if you take the time out of your day to watch the videos, it, it really does mean quite a lot to me. So thank you very much. I do have a Discord server if you want to come hang out and chat. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'm also part of a great, great uh, music server called The Scene. And it's, it's a great place if you want to... Um, you know, go in and talk about music. Um, there, it, it's skewing more towards the younger age demographic. I'm a mod there, full disclosure. But it, um, it's a really great place to just talk about music and just feel a community aspect of it. You know, we started out with a hundred or so people, and we're up to close to a thousand plus people. It is blown up, and it's just a great great place to just talk about things and that's one main reason why I, I talk about them is because I'm a mod there I do really enjoy it so uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below as well to them and uh, again I want to just say thank you so much for watching there will be more content coming out uh, I am planning on doing one more video even if it's just short to kind of show what I've been picking up and listening to um, that should tide you over while I am going to see my uncle down in Houston as I always say at the end of every video, thank you so much for watching. And also, when the waters get rough, please, please keep on sailing. Please keep going. Even if you feel like no one else believes in you, I believe in you. I will be in your corner. I'm rooting you on. You know, I'm just a random guy on the internet. But, you know, it, you know, it, I was in a dark time in my life. And my best friends were the ones that got me through it because they believed in me. So... Even if you feel like no one else believes in you, just know that I believe in you. There is always somebody there out there believing in you. And if you feel like you need to get help, go ahead and get the help you need. But I will always be rooting for you. I know you can do it, but I just want to send out all the best vibes and hope you have the most wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this and that you have a wonderful week. So with that, I will see you next time and take care. Bye-bye.